What's going on, everybody? What it do? What it do? What it do? What you think about it? Amazing. Amazing. Huh? Amazing. This is it, man. This is it. I'm glad you like it, man. Man. Is, man. It big, is it bigger than you thought it was? Man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pictures and videos. Yeah. You know, they nice, but just, I tell, I tell folks, hey, them man. pictures and video don't do them no justice now. Nine weeks, man. Yep. <laughs> Nine weeks old. Nine weeks old right there. Man. <laughs> I let y'all get a little look at your boy. We about to get ready to head out. Like I said, hey, about to get ready to head out right now and go meet the uh, new owner of this mayor right here. See what his response be once he actually see him in person. Like I say, videos and pictures, man, they don't do these dogs no justice, man. Look at that. Come on. That's it right there.
think it's taller. It's really pretty. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. Check this out. I just want to come on here, and I know I like to come on and make videos and kind of let y'all see what's going on over here at Yeah Yard Bullets. But today, I want y'all to see something else, what's actually going on. Uh, I'm actually doing this video right here to give a shout out uh, to Someone that actually believed in, and believed in my kennel, believed in my process, and believed in my hard work. This video here is for you. Uh, Scooter Bullis, I'm actually doing this video for you because he actually believed in my program. He actually purchased a puppy from me, and he also actually purchased a stud critter from me. And uh, he actually picked up one of the pups, which y'all know Jack Frost, it would be a repeat breeding of Jack Frost. Uh, the Jazz and Hollywood breeding. He actually purchased one of the pups from me. Uh, he actually has another female he bred to him, so he will be expecting a litter off of that. And he told me, well, you know, me and him talked back and forth, and he told me how much my videos inspired him to go to the next step and do what he needed to do and, you know, invest in his program. So he actually, like I tell anybody, I show y'all this building, I show y'all the view. You know, I do this to motivate and inspire others to do better. You don't necessarily have to be to this magnitude, but just inspire you to do better than just average. Don't try to be average. Try to go to that next level. So I just want to show and pop up a little video clipping of what he's actually done over there. You know, like I say, he just started. He's coming into the game, but he's taking big leaps. And I just want to tell you, man, I'm watching you just like you're watching me. And I greatly appreciate what you're doing out there and believing in my program and taking your program to the next level. So y'all just check out the video. I'm going to pop it up right here. I want me to step to the side. Oh, y'all want me to step to this side. And uh, I'll just go ahead and pop that video up. And y'all go ahead and check that video out. Y'all see what he got going on in this video right here? Y'all see he uh, actually started his own, got his own little building for his dogs and stuff. He had them come out and put it up, y'all can see in the video. He also, uh, you know what I'm saying, he doing a walk through. Got the dogs in there, you know, got his dog in there walking around. That's right there, that's uh, Rose. That's Rose the male that he actually purchased for me. Uh, he got another female with the bread of rose. He actually got the guys coming in doing electrical work. He got the electrical and stuff put up. And y'all just stay tuned. He said he's about to get ready to do some big things over there, man. I'm very proud of you, man, for taking that next step. And uh, hey, that's all I have for y'all. I just want to come on and give thanks to School of Bullets for uh, actually taking that next step, taking that leap, and trying to take this program to the next level. This video is for you, man. Hey, greatly appreciate it to everybody out there. And again, y'all, thanks for watching. What's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. Okay. Uh, you can just sit it on the side right there. I'm 
going to share some with y'all. You notice I went in and mopped that floor. The reason I mopped that floor is to make that mess slide across that whole lot easier. That's another tip I just yeah. gave y'all. Yep, this will help that mesh slide across a whole lot easier. As y'all can see, we just completed another setup. Go ahead and grab the, uh, the feed bowl. Wherever you would. Yeah, go ahead and get that one. Okay. And get that feed bowl and put another kennel over there. Put it up high though, because we're gonna, we're gonna put them in down low. We'll put them in and then we'll end up putting that feeder down low when we feed them. So y'all get a chance to see how they gonna respond, how they act first time ever coming in. All right, y'all just stay tuned. And make sure everybody who's watching this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit that bell notification so you can stay updated on the newest content here at EAR Booming.
and what my son rubbing on right now, that's that's Bailey. We call her Big Bailey and Lil Zoe. Lil Zoe is the one to the left coming around the back of it. It's Bailey and Zoe right here. Y'all, I'm back. <clears throat> Just picked up a few things. Uh, some heavy duty trash bags, some mop heads, uh, two trash cans, and a little roller bottom that goes under the trash cans and also the lids. Uh, like I say, didn't see a whole lot, but we did pick up a few things for the dogs. Like I say. Y'all just stay tuned. Head to the kennel. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing out there today? Like I can say, right here, we got them. Like I say, the little meatballs that we mix up for the dogs, just for each one of them to have a little snack. Nothing serious. And like I say, we'll start with Black Magic. I like I say, she's never had one before. What's up, little mama? Come on, let me in. Let me in. I don't know. No, you think you slick with? So we'll see how she responds. Introducing the two for the first time. She's smelling it. I'll put it in her bowl and see how she responds to it. Okay. Like she going in, like she like it. Okay. Oh yeah, she going in on it. I say, let's take a look at her. See how she liking it. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna move on down to the man himself, Hollywood. Look at it. Look at it. I'm gonna get you the back up from it just a little bit so everybody can see. You can see how excited they be once it's time for that look. They know when it's treat time right here, everybody's quiet. Let me see, man, where you at? I had one special for you, man. I had one special for you. There you go, get him here. And look at you, you can see Black Magic over there. She is finished with hers. And you can see she look like she want Hollywoods too because she's getting excited over there. All right, now I'm finna go down here and I'm finna go ahead and uh, fix to go ahead and give my man one here. Oh, Jack. What's up, Jack? Oh yeah, man, you know we got you. We know we got you. Yeah, Jack him. Oh, Jack going in, oh Hollywood, he over there saving, he is taking his time with it. He hadn't had one in a minute. But like y'all can see how they like to do. I got the pups down here on the end a little bit. Let me go ahead and uh, get them there because I see now they ain't playing no games over here. Let me go from the big outward on y'all. All right. Come here. Come here. Here. There you go. You can see them going in on it. And like I say, we will mix it up, give them a little bit more there. Alright. They already know what time it is. Alright, now we're gonna step on over here to night train. What's up, man? Yeah. Give a night train one. I know he hadn't had one in a minute. He wanna lick around like it's a ball. Okay, you better get it, cause you know she'll get it if you don't eat it. See how he responds to it. Night train act like he don't want him. But at the same time, he don't want nobody else to get it either. Night train, everybody waiting on you. Just squat down so we get a chance to see what he's doing here. The puppy's over there, he's like, all right now. Let's see how he responds, cause like I say, them puppies over there, they want that. He just licking on the door. And you know what? I know what his problem is. You know what he like? He like for you to hand feed him here. Oh, you, oh, you already got it in your mouth. You finishing up. Uh -huh. Okay. 
I'm gonna back up a little bit so everybody can see me too. Hey, Faith, you know you next, mamas. You know you next, mamas. I right, say so we got one for Faith Hill. What's up, mama? Huh? Yeah. Go. Oh. Y'all can see Faith going in on her little, on her little meatball snack. She already finished with it. See, I know them females don't play with them. Like I said, we got one more. We already know who excited for hers. Huh? We already know who excited for hers. You ready for yours, mom? Huh? You ready? You can just, just look at her. Hey, hey. What's up, mama? Huh? You want yours? Yeah. And y'all can see she did not play with hers either. Hey, and like I said, like I said, everybody. That's what we like to do over here. Nothing serious. Like I say, we just like to give them a little snack just to reward at nighttime. Make up a few little meatballs. Like I say, we, a lot of times it just depends on what we got. Depends on how we'll fix them. Uh, if we just got the meat, we'll just do just a straight meat because, like I say, it's just a snack. Uh, if it's a, uh, sometimes we'll put a little oatmeal in it, uh, a little wheat germ oil. Uh, sometimes I like to put a little de earth on it. And if y'all don't know what that is, it's a uh, diatomaceous earth. That's like a natural warmer. We like to use it also too. We mix it in sometimes on the feed. And like I said, I'll get into that in another video. But like I said, I just want to show y'all what we do a lot of time late night for us with our dogs for getting them little snacks and rewards. And uh, like I said, if y'all would, if y'all still watching this video, and y'all already know to do, man, smash that like button. Hit that bell notification so y'all can stay updated on all the latest content here at EAR Bullets. Hey. Thanks for watching. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on out there, everybody? So y'all already know what time it is. What's going on out there, my guy? Oh, you see, we out here putting that work in. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. And guess what? I'm coming to you to talk to you today for some of your new breeders, up and coming breeders. Those are the ones I'm really trying to focus on today. And I just want to send a message to you. First message I want to send to you is, don't quit, don't give up, keep grinding. I know right now, if you're actually doing YouTube and you're a new breeder, these are the, you're the main one I'm talking to. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Check this out. I know you're probably getting caught up making videos, looking down at your uh, subscription. Nobody follow you. 
you making videos, <gasps> nobody. Come on, y'all. Come on, chill. Y'all know this always happens when you do dog. You get to that point where you feel like no one is really looking at your videos. Your views are low, your descriptions is low, and you was thinking that you was gonna be able to jump into it, it was gonna be a walk in the park, and you was gonna get all these subscribers and all these followings, and you was gonna be a big time dog breeder. I'm sorry, y'all, it just don't work like that. But I can't tell you one thing. If you stay focused, you stay motivated, you keep grinding, and you will succeed. You just gotta keep grinding. You gotta keep putting out the content. You gotta keep making videos. Because if you sit around and you start feeling down on yourself, really like you really don't know what's going on, why you can't get it, you just gotta keep going. You have to keep going. Keep making videos. Keep dropping content. Because eventually, you need content because once people look, start, do catch on to your channel. You want to have some type of content for them to be able to go back and look at some of your other videos. You don't want to be the one of the ones that make content and you shoot a video and probably got in a year's time, you've been making videos for a whole year and then you look back and you only got maybe five videos in one year. That right there shows that you have no drive and no motivation. But in order to keep that going, you got to drop content. Do not look at the views. Do not look at the subscribers. I mean, don't work with I ain't going to say don't look at it. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about the comments. Don't worry about the negativity. Don't worry about the, I mean, now you worry about the positive now because you want to be able to interact with the people that send positive messages your way. But when you see negative stuff, man, just ignore it. Just keep going. Keep grinding. And I promise you, if you keep it up, and you're really passionate about what it is you're doing if you want to be a dog breeder. If you keep going, you will see a big change. You just have to give it time. All this takes time. The same way I built this kennel, this kennel, it took time. Same way I bought cages, it took time. Where I'm at right now, I'm nowhere where I want to be. But it all takes time. It's a process. And you just have to be embrace the journey on the process. You just keep going, keep staying motivated. You keep going, I promise you will reach your, your destination. You just have to keep going, don't give up. I just want to come on and just send that message to all the new breeders or the up and coming breeders that's actually trying to do the right thing and don't know what actually is going wrong right now. This video is for you. So if y'all would, hey, smash that like button for me. Also hit that bell notification so y'all can stay updated with all the latest content over here at EAR Bullets. All you new breeders, keep grinding. Don't quit. Don't give up. And thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. Hey, y'all already know before I show this video what I got to do, right? Hey, everybody out there, if you would, smash that like button. Hit that bell notification so you can stay updated with all the latest content over here at y'all Bullets. Hey, and like I say, y'all already, already know what I do. You know, I got to show y'all that view. Got calls flying through it for some reason. It very seldom happen, but hey, at the end of the day, y'all already know what it's about. Man, he good. Man. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video, y'all. Y'all already know. <coughs> Got to show y'all that view. Man, y'all, hold on, hold on. You know something, I always come on here and I tell y'all I need to show y'all that view. But do y'all understand? Do y'all really understand when I show the view? I mean, when I show that view, I'm showing you how God is good now. That's why I'm showing you that view. <laughs> Okay, now that I got uh, everything mixed up, what I like to do now is uh, take the Comega and put it in the feed just a little. Put in each one on feed. Put like a little, you know, a little squirt to, from end to end in a circle. All right. 
Now, after I do that, I like to take my de-earth, give me a little spoonful, sprinkle across the feed. Take a spoon, I'll probably do about half on each one of them. It'd be looking like a lot, but it's really not that, that much. Like I say, this de earth, y'all, is like a natural worm. If your dog got any type of worms and stuff, it'll, it'll take care of that now. Don't take much. And that's it. And that's it. We got the oil in there, the de earth. Then I like to just come back through and just mix. That de earth off in there. Got to get in there real good. You know how to get it just perfect. You just want to kind of get it mixed up in there some. And that's all I'm going to do on each one of them. And it'll be going up a teeth. They'll be ready to go. That's all I'm doing. And I highly recommend that deer earth, y'all. I mean, food, food grade deer earth now. I highly recommend that. It's a good natural warmer. Now, I'm gonna show you how we are. Uh, <clears throat> we kind of share this workload. You know it's like I'm doing all the work, but uh, my son on deck right now. He on deck, ready to go. We got everything prepared. Go ahead and all uh, give it a go ahead and take y'all in. Let y'all see when my son giving it to the dogs. I know they're gonna probably cut up. If they get too loud, y'all, I will. No, I'm gonna just have to give it to y'all raw and uncut. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just stay tuned. We're gonna get ready to take them on in. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. Check this out, though. Oh, uh, <clears throat> this video right here gonna be short. I just want to come on. You know what I'm saying? Before I do that, let me give y'all that view. How are everybody going out there today? Boy, boy, boy. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? Hey. 
Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with a video. Everybody who's watching this video, smash that like button. Hit that bell notification so y'all can stay updated and all the latest content over here at EAR Bullets, everybody. Thanks for watching. Ooh wee! <laughs> hey, what's going on out there, everybody? I'm back with another video again. You already fed cookie? Yeah. Okay. Hey, look at that out. Oh, that's pretty quick, huh? Yeah, we just in the kennel. Oh, uh, like I say, just feeding everybody. Just feed time. Hey, uh, I'm back with another video. 